good evening friends so now i'm going to demonstrate how to fix the endoscope sheath in the endoscope okay so this is metronic endoscope 2 uh, sheath okay so this is to, this is going to use to the endoscope so i'm going to show how to set up first thing take this scope sheath according to the scope for example this is 0 degree 0 degree in the sense the angulation you can see this is flat this is 0 degree and this is around some 45 degree okay the cutting edge you know you can see that this is 45 degree so accordingly we can decide 0 or 45 so if you have a 45 degree scope you have to use this 44 degree 45 degree sheet if you have a, a 0 degree show scope you have to use this 0 degree sheet okay generally people will use 0 degree sheet so I'm just take the 0 degree sheet first thing what you have to do is just connect this finger switch this we call it as finger switch okay finger switch in this switch you leave, we are going to operate okay whenever you press the switch automatically irrigation will come in the tip so for that purpose only this finger switch is going to to be purpose okay so first how it to do how to set up means just take this rotation the wire should be in the surgeon side okay then what you have to do just insert it here okay see that just insert it here so so once you insert that you can see this this groove will be get locked here okay see so this cutting it will be locked here okay so once it's getting locked so this is the straight position the wire has to go to the surgeon side it is not supposed to be in opposite direction because this is the sterile field area you are not supposed to hang out all these things okay so once you fix the finger switch what you have to do just take this irrigation tube it has two ends okay in this irrigation tube you can see this there are two ends one is going to irrigation uh, that is saline water another this end is going to connect in the sheath okay so this has a thread so just go and seat it over here just tight it okay so gently tight it so what happened you get tight okay so and then what you have to do you have to connect in the saline water the IV stand okay then you have to connect in the if you are using IPC pump okay you have to connect it in the endoscope to or endoscope one means you have to connect in the endoscope pump okay you have to connect in the ipc pump uh, generally it will be in uh, pump one okay in the upper pump then what you have to do this for example i don't have a scope now for example consider this as a scope if it is a scope what you have to do just insert inside the hole this is very important just insert inside the hole initially it will be very tight only if you are using forum scope it will be exactly go inside because when you insert you know you will feel that it is very it is very tight like that because they given for tightness generally it is have a o-ring so what happened so water won't get leaked that's the reason they given in a hole in a exact size so it will be going tight only so no issues you have to insert the scope inside so that the scope will get locked here okay the fiber optic cable uh, bend no it will get locked in this u-cut okay until this you have to insert the scope so scope will be slightly come in this edge okay then you have to connect the fiber optic cable down and this end you have to connect in the IPC endoscope port okay you have to plug into the IPC endoscope port once you plug into the IPC endoscope port so automatically whenever you press this button irrigation will come into this tip okay so whenever you press automatically irrigation pump will run then the water will be flowing in this tip okay so this is the setup uh, video just see that how is the setup after this so even you can set it up like this and they can uh, put it in the scope or okay so see this directions everything okay and okay that's all thank you